more recently, you know, we've seen a lot of racial incidents happening in our country. And like today, I think I was sharing with you, I just can't quit crying today. It's been really tough um, because my son is biracial. I know you and I have talked about this before. And I just, I, I'm scared for my child. And I think of these mothers who are losing their children. And I don't, I don't know what to do. I think why I'm so upset is I feel um, helpless. So I have joined um, action committees. I'm calling senators. Like I am trying to do things to make a difference. I think the biggest thing that um, when I had a conversation with my mother last night, actually, because she's Caucasian as well. And I think the biggest thing that I was portraying to her is that use who you are in your circles, in your community, in your workspace, in your friends, in your family to bring awareness, to educate. Um, she was telling me a story about uh, when she was at work one time and somebody felt comfortable enough to make a racial comment in her presence. And I said, did you correct it? Did you allow it to happen? And she said, no. She said, I explained to them that that was incorrect, that was inaccurate, and that it was shameful that they said that, and they were taken back. And I said, the biggest thing in what you just said is that you didn't have to say, I have black children. It's okay to be a white ally and it's okay to be you and support black Americans and black people in general without having to reference your connection to the black community. You can be who you are and still support and still encourage people to, to love everyone. Um, I think you're, you speaking on your optimism and in, in your, Love for all is something that's important. Um, using your platform to spread word, to engage with people in, in healthy conversations and healthy debates. Um, I think a big takeaway that I always have is you can always, like you can like apples and not be against oranges. I can know that there are good law enforcement, there are good police officers and know that just because there's a situation now where there's, or there's tension that not all um, police officers are bad, not all black people are bad. It's not grouping an entire race. It's not grouping an entire profession, um, but to know that who you are, who you raise your son to be, who you accept around you in your circles is just as important as sharing something on Instagram or sharing something on Twitter. I think it's important to have these conversations and, and to know that there are good people in everywhere, that we just need to continue to fight the good fight um, and stay positive. And support each other. Like, I know that all of us in the WNBA, like, we love each other. We are a community and we are a family. And I don't, it's not that you don't see color. It's like, I see Natalie, I see Holly, you know, we, I want to see and celebrate and empower the, the uniqueness and differences in you. And I know you feel the same about me. So I just, I just want us to all be there and support each other. So and that's where, that's where I touched earlier on it. And I'm so thankful for you, Holly, because a part of that is sharing our stories that we aren't just athletes. We aren't just female basketball players we aren't just black athletes that we are bigger than that we have stories we have families we have children we have brothers and sisters and we are people and i think that is part of um bringing humanity together is to know that it's beyond face value it's beyond who you see right here that i am more than that that you are more than that we are multi-level people um and so that's why i have to always thank you for sharing that using your platform to share our stories and i just want to make a difference whatever way we can so you know like i just want us to to all be those of us in the WNBA who i do think we are a good deep rich together family in all of our ethnicities and all of our different pieces of life and i just want us to set a good example for everybody that um, we celebrate and love each other and support each other and I think you do that and I do that. And I'm grateful for the WNBA and the Indiana Fever to give us an opportunity to use our platforms to share love, to share positivity, to share everything that is bigger than just basketball and that's going on in our world right now.